What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. For one of the last few Cubes drafts, Cubes drafts we're going to do on Magic Online. This Tuesday, we're going to be playing in the uh, Early Access streamer event for Throne of Eldrain, so that's going to be pretty sweet. This pack's good. Thank you. Could take a Lily and wheel <clears throat> the Grey Merchant. We could also try this Mono Red stipulation. MTG Pyro, thank you so much for the 18 months, buddy. Really appreciate it. Personality. We do have a mono red stip by Crutch Jr. We could take Thunder Maw Hellkite. I'm going to take Thunder Maw Hellkite. I think it's worse than Liliana and Phyrexian Metamorph, but I do want to complete this stipulation, so. Maybe we'll get lucky. Alright, so we're Figure of Destiny. We got two. Hero's good. Sphinx is good. I don't think Sphinx is second pickable though. Compulsive research is better than Sphinx, but all right. I feel like we're I feel like we're doing the same. I don't know if there is mono red. I don't know if there's enough burn spells. There's no fire blast. There's no chain lightning. There's no like fork bolt or arc. I don't know if there's enough for mono red. It's hitting me now. I think Sword is better than any of the red cards in that pack, so we're going to take it. <coughs> Excuse me. Urchai, what's going on, buddy? The Urchai. Experimental Frenzy says, like, oh, there is a mono red deck. And you're like, oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, Arclight Phoenix is still a 3 2 flyer for four with haste. Is that good enough? Experimental Frenzy is also good. Kind of good. I bet we take this. And that Arclight Phoenix comes back. Koth? Okay. Koth is mono red. Beautifully mono red. Not even close. Fire drinker, Seder. Not uh not the best one drop by any stretch, but a one drop nonetheless. Well, and now there's no... And then you get a pack like this where you're like... And that's the end. There's no red cards whatsoever. Take Ral. Hour of Devastation? That's worst, worst red card ever. Man, I'm so I'm so unhappy about the Grey Merchant coming back. I guess we'll take City of Brass. It lets us splash anything if we want to. Good lord. Slam the door, man. Oh, boy. Crutch Jr., I hope you are witnessing this. Uh... Yeah. This is probably going to be pretty unplayable, unfortunately. I just don't think I don't think there's a mono red deck in this cube. I don't think there is enough burn. But I don't know, like why would you put Fire Drinker Seder in there if there was, if there wasn't, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's all very weird. So anyway, the stipulation was from Crutch Jr. and it was just mono red. getting quite a few black cards. Mascorum, Vampire Nighthawk, and Gifted the Otherborn tabled, and we didn't take the Great Merchant, so. I mean, we could do blue, we could do black-red pretty easily here.
And the only one a red card in here is Char. And we're still gonna take it because we're not done. We're not done with the dream yet. Kiki Jiki actually pretty good. But like if we're not Kiki Jiki into like Pestermite or Resto, the only thing we have is Zealous Conscripts. So we're actually gonna take Char. Black red is basically mono red. I just want Crutch Jr. to know that we tried the stipulation twice, and both times we had to audible because we were just not getting the cards. On Crop Crasher, looking all right, looking all right. Hazaret and, oh, if one of these cards comes back, if either like, yeah, we're definitely taking Hazaret here. Okay, maybe this is the pack. Oh, it's no longer the pack. Oh, Bowmai Courier. It might still be the pack, guys. Outpost Siege. We already have that card. It's right here. I definitely think Outpost Siege is better than Experimental Frenzy in the sense that it's much less restrictive. Gutshot? Do I just take Gutshot and play it? That's pretty comical. I feel like having Gutshot in your deck and being able to kill people with Gutshot is just the greatest. I'm just taking it. It's the greatest full circle meme ever. Oh, Pyroclasm. Solid. Just taking Sword of Fire. Nice. We're just going to have a bunch of swords in this deck, I guess. Alright, so now the red cards are drying up again. Unfortunate. Literal nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Okay, so... <clears throat> wow. <sighs> Rough. I'll take Shieldred again, because in case we end up leaning black... Alright, we might just have to, guys. Porcelain Legionnaire actually surprisingly one of the better cards in this pack. Right now, this is currently a butt stream. It's not looking good. Oh, Pirate Spellbomb was the only thing that came back here. Jeez. Oh, God. God, the mono black deck is so open. It's really comical. We have more mono black cards than mono red cards. We're not even, like, trying to get the mono black cards. Ooh. 
Yikes. <clears throat> I mean, it's still possible to salvage this thing. Lightning Bolt's probably better than Pyromancer, right? We have a ton of three drops already. Lightning Bolt is just Lightning Bolt. Ugh. Crutch Jr., I'm so sorry, buddy. We're trying. Ideally, the season Pyromancer comes back. Because really, who, who's going to be in red in this cube? Literally no one. I mean, if we just have to throw in a bunch of Masked Worms and Vampire Nighthawks and Gifted night, gifted Aetherborns, like, with no fixing. I mean, we'll do it. Oh, Abbot of Carol Keep. Oh, you're so much worse than anything else. I mean, we'll take you. It's our first two drop, guys. Come on. Hero of Oxid Ridge? That guy's good. Burst Lightning also good. I'll take the hero. Personality. Could play Chalice just because we have four drops and five drops here. Oh man, please don't misspell my last name when it's literally right there. You're literally in a channel with my last name in it. Oh, that's such a pet peeve of mine. Grim Lava Mancer is good. Oh, Carry Zev? Alright, we're doing it. The dream is alive. I think we need like three more playables. It's close. It's very close. <laughs> it's okay, man. It's okay. P and LR. Nice. Okay. Porcelain Engineer is actually two drops, so that's actually fine. Ingot Chewer. Well, you can go on the sideboard at the very least. All right, <clears throat> good one, good one. What up, Scoony Love? Smuggler's Copter or Hanger Backwalker? Both of these are decent cards in this deck. I think it might just be Hanger Backwalker. Oh, Smuggler's Copter is so good. I want the Smuggler's Copter because I don't think I'm gonna have the mana to invest in a Hanger Backwalker. Twenty-four. We can cut outpost siege. We can also cut one of the swords. I think we'll cut the one that doesn't deal damage. But now we need another play. Um, I'm just gonna take tooth and nail because people don't people don't need to be tooth and nail toothing and nailing. <coughs> Needle spires. That doesn't do anything for us. Scrap Heap Scrounger is literally just a two drop that we can play. We can just play City of Brass and <laughs> Scrap Heap Scrounger. Well. It's not the worst mono red deck ever. It might be. It's close. I wonder if I just want Scrap Heap Scrounge or it's like a... Thank you. 
Geist. Unis Joker. Travis, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really, really appreciate it. We have three vehicles. I think we want Scrap Heap Scrounger just because of that. And we can just splash one City of Brass. Ooh. Oh, we still have Everflowing Chalice in here? That's interesting. I don't even know if I care about that. I don't think I do. City also lets us cast Porcelain Engineer for one man instead of two. For one life instead of two, rather. But it's still used to be paying three mana at that point, so. Yeah, let's just play that again. Alright, put this in here. Zero of those, 16 of those, and let's do it. <coughs> Alright, it is, it is, it is time. Not the cheapest hand, but a hand nonetheless. Yeah, we have like two burn spells, guys. Well, because there's no like, there's no fiery conclusion, fiery con confluence rather. There's no, like there's a bunch of stuff that's just not in here. Right, you don't get fire blast, you don't get uh, chain lightning. I don't think there's a fork bolt or an arc trail or anything like that. Like, <clears throat> uh, running the city of brass for the scrap heap scrounger that I got. I hope I put in. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. Um, just discard a land for now. Personality. This guy's coming down next turn. So it's very tempting to, like, play this, play this, discard our hand. I don't know. Sure. Harvester here. I mean, they're going to bounce the Bowmat Courier, I imagine. Just because of how much work we've put into it. And us drawing like five cards is pretty scary. Oh, wow. Wowie Kazowie. Person. I like when the Bowman Courier gets in the helicopter and then the helicopter gets in the sky ship, the flagship, and you're like, well, that's pretty good. That is a solid strategy. <coughs> oh, nothing, huh? Vendillion click. No Vendillion click. Fascinating. Hmm. I mean, I just assume they're going to counter whatever we play here, right? So. Sure. 
sure. Disfigure block. That's a good one. That's a yikes for me, dog. Doing nothing again? Hmm. <clears throat> And I just assume they have mono counter spells. Wow. Hmm. Why not bounce it before I loot? Mr. $10 Bill, thank you so much for the resub. Keep up the great work. Your content is a bright spot and a lot of people. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for saying so. Hostage taker. Sure. Okay, so now they're probably dead, right? Okay, we're just going to win the game? Alright, sounds good. I didn't think we won there, but I appreciate our opponent disagreeing with us. Personality. Um, just going to submit like this. We're up a game. We're up a game with this deck. I believe in you. Well, well, that's the thing, I guess. Well, this hand is rough, but we're on the draw, and we still have uh, decent cards on the curve. A two drop would be great. I would love a two drop. Can a buddy? Can a buddy get a two drop? The answer is no. Uh, Black Elf, I mean, maybe, but like their mana base would be totally fucked. Like, we have literal zero fixing other than City of Brass. And all of our black cards are double black. Oh. 
Oh, look, we found a two drop. Gonna man a leak, this guy never don't have it. Condescend for two. You got it. What's up, Adam? Uh, this cube was a mono-red stipulation that we attempted for the second time. And, uh, we're hoping that it goes, it goes well. We're up a game. I don't know if that's good. I mean, that's good, but I don't know if that is indicative of anything. If we hit a two-drop now, we can play... Oh, wow. Whip of Erebos. Talk about brutal... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Well, now we're definitely bringing an ingot chewer. You got it. I have not played tier of zero. Uh, it's tier, it's OBS tier. The Legacy Golos deck. That deck was a spicy meatball. Murder your burrow. Put them in the garbage can. Next time we can go figure pump to 2-2, two, two, pump to 4-4, four, four, a crew Sky Sovereign. And then we still have six men on board for that, for that mischievous 8-8. Eight, eight. That brawl had lifelink, man, wow. Yeah, he also had a family. You play those guys, I'll put them in the trash can too. I don't think Koth would resolve here. So I'm just going to run out this guy first. And then we'll see what happens. And then I'll pump him. Oh, they're going to do this? Are they going to do some bull honky? You got it. I will waste no more mana on this. See if you got another counter spell. So here's just removal and counter spells. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my god, what are we doing here? Hazaret, get in the get in the flagship thing. Oh boy. If they didn't have a counter for Hazaret, like, they don't have a counter for Koth, right? Shut up and take my money. I guess if you have to get some practice in the streamer events so you have a chance to beat me in the pre-release, that'll be okay. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. I can't believe you're like this. I cannot believe you have done this. Cryptic Command? You don't have Cryptic Command. Venser, sure. Sure. We gotta bounce a boat, right? Yeah, okay. That's pretty good, because now we can't attack with either. Well, that is sad, isn't it? 
I'm just going to pass here. Fencer was like the best thing you could have hit there. I guess we could have Lightning Bolt up instead of playing Smuggler's Copter. Yep, this was my fear. I assume they kill Koth here. That's really sad. Now I'm wishing I just lightning bolted one of these guys instead. Well, that guy's exiled forever, which is nice. That's pretty good. Definitely keeping Hazaretta here around here. This is four, nine. I think we're doing it. This is crazy. Hey, this is crazy. I think we won our first match, maybe. Saw that coming, so they're gonna go to eight. But then these two kill you. One, two. This guy haste. God, does have haste. Say what you need to say. Are they going to go two here? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Uh, counter spell doesn't make us that bad. Like, we could actually play PNLR. Oh, wow. We won the match. That's insane. Our deck is clearly unbeatable. Mono red, guys. I didn't think this was a thing that we were going to be able to do. But now, we are up a match. Well, Monsanto, I'll have you know that you get to draw a card every turn. I assumed you draw land at the end. Wow. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. I, uh, I understand why you'd feel that way. Yes. Snap it off. <coughs> Green, huh? Noble Hierarch, huh? Wow, this chain roller could be bananas. B A N A N A S.
chain whirlers bananas no attack no attacker just play all the x1s please play two more x1s that's all I want you to do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. You got it. Nothing. You're gonna play nothing. Well. I'm gonna play something. Collected company. So here's my number. Collected company. I hope they uh, rest out. Sure. Totally fine. Tot tot totally fine. Sure. Oh, good, they fought. That's super nice. Holy shit, talk about having it all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I mean, alternatively, there's no way we could have pumped this if they have lightning bolt in hand, right? Like it just doesn't. It's just not a, not a thing we're gonna be able to, to do. So. Nope, don't do that. don't have Inferno Titan. Alright. Well, we had a good run initially. Man, that Chain Roller was perfect into Blank Restoration Angel. Into Domri, which I don't even think is that good. She just got Shrekt.
Okay, okay. Man, that chain roller felt so good up until the point that it didn't. Boop him. Boop him again. Much boops. Give me a three drop, and then we feel real good about this hand. Okay. So be it. It's still a card I can play, which I'm fine with. Oof. The problem with Koth here is it's not until... The problem with Koth is that, like, we only have two blockers, so we go block, block, none of them are profitable. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Comically good. Jesus. Yep, that's amazing. Ren and six Thalia Kitchen Finks. Could you draw three better cards against our deck? Oh boy. Well, Koth is pretty bad here. They just shoot this guy. We have one blocker. They kill Koth most likely. You just block with kitchen things, right? Seems pretty easy. I mean, we have two blockers, but they can shoot one, then we have one blocker. Uh, trading hero for Oxid Ridge for kitchen things seems absolutely terrible. Yep. So this is this is probably more like how I expected our matches to go. So still, we took on the first round handily. So I'm gonna I'm gonna carry that with me. That's gonna be the that's gonna be the point of pride for me right now. I just don't care about you. I mean, you're a valuable asset to the team here, but chain roller one time. That's not terrible. We lose Koth, but this is a lot of pressure on the board now. My Hellkite's just a beast, so. Yep. 
I mean, if they have Resto here, I'm just going to attack with this guy. If we attack with Scrap Heap Scrounger, they just Resto block it, and that seems bad. And they did. <laughs> oh god oh man absolutely perfect get back kitchen finks gain 3 gain 5 go to 13 Perfect sword. Nine times out of ten, terrible. That tenth time, though, pretty good. We still we still got a game. <sighs> kitchen Finks is rough, especially rebuying Kitchen Finks over and over if you can. Well, this is unfortunate that we can only kill Thalia. Can't really even crew here. Or attack, rather, because then we can't crew. Why do you still play MTG over Arena? Is it the number of cards? Uh, yes, you cannot cube draft on MTG Arena. Literally a completely different format that is not available on MTG Arena. You also can't play Modern. You also can't play Legacy. You cannot play Vintage. Like, if you want two formats, uh, Standard and Draft, like, cur the most current Draft, then, then Arena's great. But if you're looking for anything else whatsoever, then why wouldn't you play Magic Online? Because it's the only way to do that. Yeah, this is done. Yep, that's good. Alright. Well, 2002, handily, handily in both, in both situations.
Snap it. Snap it off. Snap it and keep it and play it. Bop it. Hit it. Touch it. Beep it. Beat it. Garfield the cat? He invented Magic the Gathering online? What? Come on, I just want to land here. Let's get in there. I don't think you're ta I don't think you're trading. I really want to land so I can chain roll it, but they're just gonna pump this guy to a three three, so. Yeah, that's that's worse, but I'm gonna get in there. What? Very aggressive. Drew a land anyway. Okay. I'm actually tempted to keep char up, but we can just char whatever they play next turn. I don't play Chain Whirler here because I feel like we can get some value out of it. If they have Thalia, if they have any kind of X1, Porcelain Legionnaire. And we're still putting three power onto the board. So. I mean, if they play Hero of Blade Hold. I, mean, I guess we can char it, which is nice. Sure, you didn't know her. What are you taking my carry, Zev? That's, that's messed up. Oh, they're like, I don't want to attack anymore. I kind of just want to deal four here. I think that's important. Our hand is good. Our hand is good. Well, now I wish I had my thing again. Where's my char when I need it? I guess we're gonna Abbott here. Hope to hit a land. Oh, we're so good at this. Very little value here, but that's fine. This can still snap off a Thalia if we get like if we get like a lightning bolt to kill this guy with lightning bolt to kill Thalia with the Grim Lava Mancer. That's pretty good. Oh, for sure. Wow. You use that on a Goblin Chain Whirler? That's crazy. That guy doesn't even do anything. Well, that's fascinating. All this is very fascinating. Oh my god, I just want less fewer lands.
picture. And pump this guy because we can. We got five. And we can pump this guy one, two, three. So this would be four. So both of these are lethal if we can hit one land. Or if we can hit any spell that goes to the graveyard. Wow. It's pretty good. Blink Journey or Fairgrounds Warden. Yeah. Okay. We'll get our guy back at least. But now I can can I just sack this and this to make both of these guys interesting. Yeah, any rule for the Fairgrounds Warden in this game is just over. Um, okay. Sack can't block, sack can't block. Attack. Oh, I guess we could have just killed them, like, straight out, right? I think we still can. <laughs> yeah, because we're just getting two extra damage in. So they're going to block here, and then they're going to take two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's game. That'll do. Wow, that was that was something. White, black. I'll bring in Sword of Feast and Found. What do we see? Journey to Nowhere, Fairgrounds Warden, Thalia, Flicker Wisp. Bunch of nonsense. Oh, yes. This seems fine. Skyship Sovereign's great because it feels like it kills every creature they have. Assuming. Figure of Destiny kind of has a level up, right? Lightning Bolt would be nice here. Smuggler's Copter. So now we have some choices here. We can level up and play Spell Bomb. We can play Carry Zev, or we can play Copter. Next turn we'll have three mana, which means we can play Pirate Spell Bomb in one of the two drops, or we can level up again if we chose to level up. Uh, it was indeed a stip. It was a stip from Crutch Jr. that was mono red, and we had a hard time making it work, but it seems to be okay. I'm just going to play Carry Zev here. We're going to take an extra three, but I like that it does. This kind of gives us three power on board, but it also gives us a lot of things to crew the copter with. But maybe we could play, play copter? I don't know. There's a lot of choices here. I can see pros and cons for all of them, so. 
West Valhab. Oh, that's that's very good. Oh, that's very good. All these lands we're hitting are also very good. Um, I think we're just playing PNLR and attacking for four. Next time we can go pump, pyrite, smuggler's copter. We can just chump block here if we really, really need to. <laughs> I was worried about you. yeah. So yeah, it's like uh, sometimes I lean. Sometimes I'll do a, a mono red draft in a cube just because I'm like I want to see how it works, and it always ends up crushing. Hero play hold. No hero play hold. Sword. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're not going to block this turn because they can't equip here, so I'm going to wait till the turn where they have a sword on there before we start blocking. We're also bringing an ingot chewer for sure. Oh, no attacks. Interesting. God, we're so lucky with that. I think it's actually Copter here. <laughs> nope, that's not how Menace works. Sure. Take your point. We also we also we have smugglers copter sky sovereign to block this student warfare. They're one hundred percent equipping, right? Like I'm not blocking unless they're equipping. Oh wow! Well, they can't. Okay. Oh, oh, that's great. That's just fine. God, everything is so much bigger than than sky than the sky sovereign. Uh, it's frustrating. I get a out of this? No, okay. Sure. Alright, well. I want to play this because next turn we can pirate spell bomb and then crew and kill something with both of these. We also have a ton of colorless blockers, which is nice. That's a yikes for me, dog. Well, we're definitely killing that now.
Oh wow, no attack. Okay, sure, 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 sure. That's good for us. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, mouse is acting up. on a boat coming through six seven eight nine ten actually we could have just killed them here huh yeah we could have just won the game I forgot to crew with the smuggler's copter because the mouse acted up I guess that's fine Yeah, if we just... Sure, blame the mouse. I totally did. I totally did, Mitchell. Two, one, with a deck that... The little deck that could. Oh my god. Kretsch Jr., thank you so much for the stipulation, man. Really appreciate it. I hope this lived up to expectations. I feel like it did. I didn't expect to win a game, and this deck went 2-1, and uh, I'm impressed. Thank you so much for the support. Um, if you guys want to support the channel in other ways, you can definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore. I have new articles going up on coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday, and uh, you can check out manatraders.com. They have an amazing subscription service that you can get 20% off of for the first, first three months uh, if you use the link and the promo code in the description below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I will uh, I'll see you next time. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys.